Cedar Plank Salmon, it's a Canadian staple. And this morning, we are showing you how it is done, from how to prepare the planks to what kind of salmon to use. Chef Bob Bloomer has it all laid out for us. I'm really excited about this. Me too. I mean, we've got wild Canadian sockeye Ooh. salmon, wild Canadian blueberries, good old maple syrup. It doesn't get any more Canadian than it this, really right? It really doesn't. And, and when it's August. And so in the heart of the summer, too, right in the middle of the summer. It is garbage day, by the way. Uh, hence, you're going to hear the garbage <laughs> banging around a little bit. But uh, nothing that's, to throw out here. That's we're live just, television. Listen, that's it. And I want to show you, I want to show everybody at home the finished product so they know what we're working toward. Okay. And as we show you this, I want to remind everybody, we've got that QR code that you can follow along with this recipe. I mean, look at that. That's where we're going to, that's that's the end result. But that let's is. get there, Okay, Bob. so let's get there. So I have some beautiful sockeye salmon. I'm going to marinate this. Holy smokes. With I, two ingredients. So maple, dramatic. Maple syrup, <laughs> yes. you pour that in. This is me? Uh, here, this maple one. syrup. Okay. The whole thing? Yep. Okay. And soy sauce. Okay. And these two ingredients are gonna work their magic. It's good to put okay. this in the fridge for like a minimum of four hours, but up to 24. Okay. Okay, second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cue the, cue the fire engine. <laughs> We're gonna take a cedar plank. Smell yeah. that. Just I could smell. Honestly, I could yeah. smell it when I walked in here. It right. smells so. And good. there's a reason that the, the salmon is skinless, and I'll tell you about that in a sec. Okay. So we're gonna take this, put it in some water, weigh it down. You want to leave that for a minimum of an hour so that okay. it soaks, and then over medium heat, we're gonna toast it so that we get a nice toastiness, which is gonna, gonna release. You're gonna toast the plank. Yes. Okay. Which is gonna release. Look at that. It's toasted just like toast, really. Yeah. Um, and smell it now. You see, we've really released. It smells like a sauna. It Bob does. Bloomer. That's exactly what it smells, it smells really like. Good. So, we're going to take the salmon that has been marinating overnight. Yeah. Okay. Let me know it, if you need my help in any way. I yeah, will. Okay, so you put that on there. Just okay. nothing, you don't put anything else on there. You just put no. it straight on. You might okay. put a little oil if you hadn't marinated it, but right. since we've marinated it, we're fine. Okay. okay? Yeah. Next up, a little bit, or actually a generous amount of black pepper. Yeah. That's a nice kind of counterpoint to the sweetness yeah. of, the, of the maple syrup. I'm going to put this on the grill, and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the grill to indirect heat. So the outside burners aren't high, the inside burner is off. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna make our wild blueberry salsa. So blueberry salsa, I wouldn't have thought to say salsa and blueberry in the same sentence. Okay, so yes. wild Canadian blueberries. Delicious. And these are in season right now, but if it's not the season, you can find them year round in the frozen section of oh, your grocery so store. So good, mm -hmm. um, And to this, we're gonna add traditional salsa ingredients. So if you just help me out here, um, some red bell pepper for, for color, some red onion, okay. some cilantro, Okay. Some jalapeno. Yum. Some fresh squeezed lime oh, juice. Oh, that smells good. A pinch of salt. Yes. A pinch of what? pepper. Pepper. A little bit of olive oil. Delicious. And these are so these good. berries are so sweet, but then you get the sweet of the berries and the heat. Yeah. And it's so pretty to look at too, right? It is. Like you've it's got gorgeous. all of the colors. And plus, the, one of the beautiful things about cedar plank salmon is that the presentation is built in. Nice. So after it's cooked. Um, so again, on how indirect long? heat for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the thickness of the salmon and the actual temperature. But you can te test yeah, it by, know when it's done? by poking or um, with a thermometer. You want it to get to about 125 degrees. Okay. So can I can I just yeah for sure? So just because I've always wanted to cook salmon, I didn't know how to do it until now. So, so okay, so then now this we goes take our on. blueberry oh, wow. salsa. This looks amazing. Oh. And there's so many smells happening right now that are just absolutely right, delicious. So you've got that. Okay. Maybe a little grilled corn. Yeah, Bob Bloomer. You just Beautiful. sit back, look at relax, that. and enjoy the Canadian summer. Does that I mean, not look stunning? And we have to taste it too, right? Do I have a fork? Um, Can I please, taste? there you go. I just dive in? Yep. Okay. All right, you should have some too. Um, reminding everybody at home, of course, you can find this recipe using that QR code. Sure I, gotta get get I know, I gotta get the salsa too. This is so good, buddy. Oh, chef. Delicious, so good. Little shot for the old Instagram. Uh-huh, pose it. <laughs> I love it. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. I gotta have more. This is still delicious. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.